We have a love affair with digital photography, and why not? It's so easy and relatively inexpensive to get started. Unfortunately, many people have no idea what to do with the pictures after they have taken them. Welcome to the multimedia video for Windows XP users. In this video you will learn how to transfer images from your digital camera and camcorder to your computer, photo file management, some basic photo editing, and how to create a stunning DVD slideshow to share with others. You will be shown step by step the processes and methods to help you get the most out of your digital images and videos. I will also show you how to scan images like old photos, slides and film negatives, all with software that your computer probably currently has pre-installed. There may be no need to purchase any additional software or hardware items to achieve the intended results. This DVD is divided into chapters to enable you to learn and review stages without having to review old footage already previewed. You can learn in your own place, at your own pace. So get ready to go. You're about to start this learning journey. Oh, and by the way, this whole DVD has been created using Windows XP and other software which will be fully described to you as we proceed. So let's get started. Before we can start using Windows Movie Maker, we need to set up the workbench, so to speak. To create a DVD slideshow, we first need to set up a place to store our pictures, then copy those pictures from the camera to our computer. The most logical place to save our photos in is the My Pictures folder. However, this can become quite crowded with all the photos we have taken. So let's start by creating a new folder just for our first slideshow. Let's begin by clicking on Start, then My Pictures. A window will open which shows us what's inside that pictures folder. Right click in the white empty space area and a box will open like you see here. Look for the word new and left click on that and select new folder. What you will see now is the icon for a folder with the words new folder. Simply type an appropriate name for this folder that will help you easily identify it. This is the folder that we plan to store our photos in for our slideshow. Now our workbench is ready, so let's get the photos off the camera. There are a number of ways to attach your camera or your media card to your computer. I am going to demonstrate two common ways here. The first way is by using the cable that comes with your digital camera. On the camera body will be a cover that hides the connections. This will usually have the words AV out and a USB symbol on it. Open up the cover and have the USB cable supplied with your camera handy. Make sure it is the right cable for your camera as forcing an incorrect cable into your camera can cause costly repairs. The small end usually goes into your camera and the larger USB end will plug into the USB socket on your computer. Again, the socket fittings may be different for your camera and your computer, but normally they look very similar to these ones you see here. USB ports on your computer are found in a number of places. On this laptop, the position is on the side. They can also be on the front and on the back. Locate a spare USB port and gently plug the cable in, again making sure it fits the right way. Another common method to download your photos is to use the card directly out of the camera. Locate the cover under which the card resides in the camera. Sometimes this is found in the battery compartment. To remove a card, simply press down on it, let go and it will spring up, enabling you to pull it out gently and place it into the card reader on the computer. Turn on the camera and set it to the review function. Check your camera manual as this will explain how to do this. Different cameras have alternative ways of doing this. 
At this stage, your computer will automatically recognize a new device has been installed, and you will see some messages appear on the bottom right of your computer screen. Watch for any error messages, but hopefully you will see a message saying your new device is installed and ready to use. As mentioned in previous chapters, when you attach your camera to your computer or insert the media card into a card reader, your computer should instantly recognize the device and a small window will open as shown here. It is really asking you what you want to do with the attached files. I usually select the option to open the folder to view the files, as often I want to view the pictures and place them into different folders. This is the method that I want to demonstrate to you today. When we select the option to view the files, another window will open and you will most likely see the folder titles DCIM. Double click on this folder and you will see another folder. Go ahead and open that one by double clicking quickly on the icon. When you open this folder and don't see small pictures but only icons, then select the view option and then thumbnails. Now you will see small pictures. Now that you can finally see the photos, you can select the ones you want to move into the slideshow folder that you previously created. Depending on the speed of your computer, it may take a few seconds for the icons to change into thumbnail pictures. To copy all the photos to the new folder, left click on any picture and holding down the control button labelled CTRL on your keyboard and then press the A key. All the pictures will now have a dark blue line around them. Now again hold down the control button and this time press the X key. This cuts the photos off the camera. The photos will fade slightly to indicate a cutting process is taking place. Now locate the folder you created earlier, usually by clicking on Start, then My Pictures, and the window that opens should have the DVD slideshow folder showing. Place the mouse cursor over that folder, right click with your mouse, a box will open, select Paste from the list, and you will see a message telling you that your photos are being transferred to the folder on your computer. 